ESPN goes off on LeBron and Bronny James. Bronny is being set up for failure. Looks like ESPN finally had enough of Bronny and LeBron. This whole story, the nepotism, all that great stuff. Baxter Holmes, an ESPN senior reporter, wrote an article about Bronny being set up for failure. I'm actually surprised this article was written, especially ESPN. We already know that's the network of LeBron James. You can't say anything bad about LeBron. You can't say anything bad about Bronny. If you do, you're going to be labeled so many different things. But this article was very telling. It detailed the Rich Paul, just about Bronny being drafted, just everything surrounding Bronny James in a Lakers uniform. So yeah, man, Rich Paul, he detailed everything. Bronny basically wanted to hear his name being called. Y'all know the story by now, but I'm just surprised that the title of the article, Set Up for Failure, an ESPN senior reporter in Baxter Holmes, been covering the Lakers, covering media, covering sports. So I'm surprised that this article was posted. But that's just letting you know that not everyone at ESPN is rocking with this whole LeBron and Bronny being drafted, all that stuff. And we've seen Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp crash out on first take talking about leave LeBron alone. He's done so much great things for the NBA. He can make moves like this. That's cool, but at the end of the day, Bronny James, he's not good right now. Will he be good in the future? Who knows, but just based off what we're seeing with Bronny, it doesn't look like he deserves to be in the NBA. He's not ready to be in the NBA, but if your father's LeBron James, things can happen in your favor. Again, that's great that he got an opportunity to be drafted and he's going to get plenty of opportunities over the next three to four years to play. He has that three to four year window that a lot of players don't get. So Bronny's very fortunate. But again, if you critique Bronny James, if you say anything about LeBron, again, you're going to be labeled so many different things in the media. So it's impossible to say anything bad about Bronny or LeBron, especially if you're on ESPN. Your job could be on the line. That's why you got to look toward these content creators on YouTube these content creators outside of the mainstream media to give a legit opinion about Bronny. Again, Bronny James has a hell of a lot of work to do. I'm not wishing on the downfall of Bronny James. Best of luck to him. Seems like a solid individual, good kid. LeBron, Savannah, you raised a great young man, but that's not going to get you any cool points in the NBA. You got to be able to put the ball in the basket. You got to be able to play defense. You got to do a lot of stuff on the NBA court. So your character off the court is cool, but it's not going to translate over to the NBA. So Bronny James, best of luck to you. You got ESPN reporters talking now. You're going to start seeing more and more reporters start writing these articles. You're not going to be able to say this on mainstream media, first take, all those television shows. But you may be able to get away with articles like this even on ESPN websites. I'm surprised it hasn't been taken down by now. Don't be surprised if Baxter Holmes makes a public apology on his Instagram or Twitter, like, I didn't mean to disrespect Bronny, didn't mean to disrespect Rich Paul and Clutch Sports and LeBron. So I'm sure there's going to be a retraction of this. This can't stay on the website for too long. The home of LeBron James ESPN posting articles like this. I know Stephen A. Smith is going to say something about this on his podcast again. Stephen A. has a lot of energy towards the whole LeBron James and Bronny situation that we got to leave LeBron alone. But remember, Stephen A. Smith on his podcast, he was exposing the truth about the draft manipulation of Bronny James. So from months ago till now, what was the change of tune with Stephen A. Smith? One minute you're talking about the Mavs may draft him, that you're going in on LeBron because he's manipulating the draft. He had a lot of comments about Bronny and LeBron in the whole draft situation. But again, things have changed. Maybe Rich Paul hit him up like, look, man, take it easy on my client. You know we're trying to make these moves with Bronny. So I'm not sure who got to Stephen A. Smith, which entity. Was it ESPN? Was it LeBron? Was it Clutch Sports? But his tune has changed a lot over the last few months. But check it out, though. Just because you're critiquing Bronny doesn't mean you got to be disrespectful. Doesn't mean that you're trying to, you know, belittle him or talk down on his name. We're simply saying Bronny James is an NBA ready defensively he may have a chance but if you break down the film he's not good defensively he's not able to create offensively he can't get his own shot on fast breaks he's running to the three-point line there's no aggressiveness so he's lacking everything as far as just being an NBA pro he doesn't have the intangibles he doesn't have the effort out there to really just create 
I don't know what's going to happen with Bronny James long term. But again, Bron was able to get him that three to four year contract guaranteed. So we're going to see what happens moving forward with Bronny James. But ESPN, man, be on the lookout for them. Will there be more articles like this during the season when Bronny's in the G League and things aren't going well? If that's the case, if he's getting opportunities on the NBA court in the regular season, if he's putting together more bad games like he is in the preseason, what's the energy going to look like at ESPN in the mainstream media? Is Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp, Nick Wright, all those people that are pro-LeBron, how are you going to defend Bronny James if he continues to stink up the joint in the G League and in the NBA? Like, subscribe, comment. What do you think about ESPN turning their back on LeBron and Bronny James? I want to know your thoughts about this. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace.